Have you started your podcast yet? Let me help you out. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast to stream on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. Best of all, it is 100% free and you can record and edit from your phone or computer. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors who wants to advertise on your podcast. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by recording this ad. So be sure to download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started and let your voice be heard. Today's self-care card is energy. And it reads, stop trying to please everyone. Everyone is a whole lot of people. Protect your energy. That is the ending of the self-care reading portion. And stay tuned for the episode. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Miss Unconventional Podcast. I am your host Melinda J from YouTube and I am here to bring you all a special message, a special episode in regards to graduation season, okay? And my little two cents on a couple articles that I'm going to read is mainly towards one article and a little bit more of my congratulations on everyone and their accomplishments but just hang on tight stay tuned after these messages have been presented to you all after the commercial break as i continue on my self-care and self-transformation journey Hygiene is definitely important, so as a result, I came across this skincare line called Denby Naturals. Denby Naturals is a skincare line that was designed to combat a reoccurring problem of body odor and specifically the yoni area. It is a plant-based, cruelty-free, and a great alternative that is gentle and effective enough to be used daily. She has an array of items from feminine wash, sugar body scrub, yoni oil, and more. So be sure to follow this black business and shop till you drop so you can not only look good, but smell divinely as well. All right, y'all, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yes, this episode is not only a special uh, message to all the grads out there uh, on wishing you all um, a very, very great milestone of accomplishment, whether you're finishing pre-K, you're finishing fifth grade, you're finishing junior high school, to, as well as high school, college, undergrad, grad school, doctorate, you name it, GED program, as well as the special programs that require some effort as well, okay, as far as academies, uh, technical schools, vocational schools, you name it, okay, just like Shirley, you name it, okay, so yes, uh, first things first, I want to congratulate everyone for getting to that stage of graduating, walking across that aisle, getting your diploma, getting your certificate, getting your paperwork, because you know, whatever field you choose, whatever major you choose, that is going to be up to you on how that fulfills you and your purpose in life. And if it does not, then that's okay. Because just leave it as leave it as a backup plan, okay? If the first plan don't work, there's always a will and a way to get around to the career field that you actually would love to pursue, okay? There we all know there are obstacles. They there are challenges along the way, whether it's streaming from personal all the way up to familiar fam- family matters. 
it can definitely deteriorate and stir people the wrong direction and then of course whatever decisions you make it determines your pathway in life and then of course you have to make those necessary steps when you do make that decision and it doesn't live up to your expectation it is up to you to determine where where do you want to go next like the old saying goes it doesn't matter how you start it matter how you finish because whenever you finish that goal that accomplishment that milestone that dream that aspiration and you look back on how you were able to obtain that that brings a sense of clarity and understanding as well as wisdom behind it in regards to the the pathway and the obstacles the situations that you had to endure to get to that finish line okay it's all about not giving up it's all it's definitely not not about giving up it's about finding another way to get to the goal there's plenty of ways to find as well as get to the goal there's hardly any one-way street in regards to getting to your goal but it, there are definitely plenty of ways and avenues you just gotta network and tap into your energy tap into that inner self and speak from speaking from experience uh there are ways to get towards a situation in a good moral standpoint and I, I'm, I'm saying it again there are more than one way to get to where you want to go in a moral value type of way okay morally morally i'm gonna say that again morally into getting to that goal that way you won't have to have something that keeps lingering over your head or having someone keep lingering over your head okay so again i want to extend my congratulations to all the graduates who are graduating may your journey begin and begin to expand your knowledge your wisdom your creativity to be as a valuable asset to these companies that you will either go into with an open mind fresh face fresh point of view or whether you are starting your own business that is going to add into your local or as well as national economy your gdp okay so with that being said that concludes that portion of extending my uh, congratulations to all the graduates now to the meat and potatoes of it all because there are some people that did not graduate or um has taken a year off due to other circumstances i'm here to tell you all now that um all is not lost in that regard especially when you're especially for the the high schoolers that are graduating to go to college and they want to go to the college that they had their eyes set forward to uh, especially when it's within the ivy league school or a top ranking four-year university d1 to be exact to get that recognition for all the things that you have done in high school to get to that point in college to where you can again re-establish yourself because once you leave high school the high school uh shenan- shenanigans they stay there because once you go to another school you are re-establishing yourself as an individual um outside of what your norms were in the last four years in high school now for the people who are taking a year off or a gap year before you go to college now is the time to not only plan out what you're going to do for as like if you want to go to a four-year college or if you want to go to a two-year college do you want to go to a trade school do you want to go to a vocational school 
as well as do you want to go to a like an uh, do an online academy or an on-site academy where you can learn the fundamentals of a skill and be able to incorporate that with either in your business as well as your uh, as well as your resume yeah it, that could be an internship that you go into or an apprenticeship that you go into that leads into a full-time or either part-time job now um the article that i'm going to read on because when kids don't go to college more majority of the time they will go to the army or to a trade school which is fine however if the person is dead said to still go to college i will highly encourage everybody to go to a two-year college first uh once before time i used to think uh, a community college or aka a juco would be a another form of high school especially when the community college is in the community and all is basically all the high schoolers um (laughs) into one area put into one area as well as you got the ones that's coming from out of state or out of town sort of thing that you're also collaborating and networking and getting to know as well but at the same time now that i look back at it it was the best decision ever that i went to a two-year college first why because it's less expensive for one thing and the second thing is that i would i tell this to my brothers and all their friends all the time that your first two year call your first two years of college is your make it or break it years why because you're fresh you're trying to network you're trying to figure out the the aspects of the college as far as like the organizations the associations the teachers trying to find the cafeteria trying to find a laundromat if there's some trying to find a gym that way you can go there trying to find a doctor's office the admissions office the uh collections office all that you're trying to find all those things within that first year and getting acquainted with a new individuals that comes from all backgrounds in ethnicities and all the things of the things and and the reason why i tell i would encourage them to try a two-year college out first because one you're saving money i cannot stress this enough you're saving money and two um it's best to work with your core classes in a two-year college than a four-year college why because when you're working on your core classes in a four-year university you're going to be in a classroom with 50 plus students basically a whole auditorium full of students trying to do your core classes and the teacher to student ratio in that regards is very slim compared to a community college you'll be able to have that teacher student ratio appropriately in case you needed questions or answers uh, immediately so i will highly encourage you all um that are not going to a four-year university or feeling down and out about the um going to the four-year university of your dreams is to try a two-year college first and see how that goes whether it's part-time or for full-time and work towards getting those core classes out the way math reading science social studies all the things of the things get those done because I guaranteed you once you finish the community college realm and you want to take that next step to four-year college, uh, not only you'll have your associate's degree at hand, and if you're getting some certificates along the way while you're in community college, you'll be having those assets underneath your belt. But the process of getting accepted into a four-year university once you have your associate's degree is better than um is better and acceptable of being accepted when you get out of high school because it you've already established yourself within the college realm all right so on to the article 
that was that was my two cents at first i'm giving y'all some words of encouragement in regards to finding if, if all things fall that that is those are my words of encouragement for you guys all right now on to the article that's coming from discover.com discover meaning the mastercard okay however th- this is a good article to read upon that i'm definitely going to relate the information to you all and i got to make sure i don't get cut off from <laughs> from the episode that i'm recording on okay so this article says four reasons to choose a community college over a university and it reads attending a two-year college can benefit your lifestyle finances and career opportunities as you think about your college plans your vision may be centered on a four-year program but that's definitely not your only option there are also community colleges which offer mostly two-year programs like associate's degrees as well as certificates some people choose a degree program that finishes in two years they attend community college while others use it as a starting point and transfer to a four-year college or university and some community colleges even offer four-year bachelor's program for certain majors such as nursing or electronics engineering so all you nurses out there and all you uh engineering students especially in the electronics realm it is an opportunity to get a community college degree that's off that offers four-year bachelor's program okay the benefits of the community college is community colleges are more affordable and accessible than four-year college colleges and universities and classes class schedules can be more flexible for some lifestyles and career paths the community college can actually be a better fit let's dive in a little deeper into the benefits okay number one of why uh, the reasons to choose a community college over a four-year university is two-year colleges save you money I, i'm gonna say that again and again on this episode it saves you money like um morgan <laughs> like samuel l jackson would say on the uh, on the commercial um it saved you money okay going to a community college can be a smart financial choice here's why the tu- the tuition at community college is general generally excuse me lower than that of four-year college and universities and even if you transfer to a four-year school afterwards starting at community college lets you get a bunch of credits on your belt at a lower cost okay if this is your plan confirm in advance that credits will indeed transfer so you don't end up paying twice for the same class some college community colleges actually have agreements with four-year universities that can guarantee the admission and credit transfers and that's exactly what i did for myself okay a little background for me i went to east mississippi community college first okay i really wanted to go to mississippi state university as my first choice to go to, to school i was enrolled and was getting the classes registered and everything however it all fell short so backup plan going to the east community college down the street 30 minutes well it was really 15 minutes away (laughs) from each other and i started that summer there doing my core classes however while i was there at community college i made sure that my that i went with a degree plan that mississippi state was offering at the time and by then it was between civil engineering and architecture okay so i make sure i went through their curriculum while i was at emcc making sure i got my core classes together so by the time i graduated there at east mississippi community college i transfer over to msu with a quickness and that's exactly what happened okay um however i had to transfer again due to my dad's job from mississippi state university to texas a m kingsville and um 
yes i made sure that when i transferred it was between a m kingsville and college station in regards to the field that I was in the major that i was in because i went undeclared for the longest until junior year and that's when i had to make the choice they will make you choose a major when your junior year comes because that's when graduations start approaching um and i'll go a little bit more detail in that on another episode so yes um i made you before i moved to a whole different state a whole different city i made sure i chose a school that had the same or similar degree plan as my previous school had offered that way my credits will transfer in no due time okay that is important that is very essential within someone's college career is making sure the credits are transferable that way you won't be paying back to back in regards to your credits your classes okay and then the last point on the two-year college says if you attend a local community college you can also save on housing costs by living at home or commuting to school and that's exactly what i did i stayed home the entire time while i was in college okay uh, the schools that i went to they were were either 30 minutes or an hour away from home and i don't mind driving okay that gives me a sense of peace of what i need to get uh in mind and store for before i go to class and after i go to class so yes i stayed home the entire college career why free housing free eating okay able to do laundry okay and did i have a job yes i did have a job that was flexible to my work schedule why because um that's what you do (laughs) i had a job that was flexible with my school schedule and um and when i had got pregnant then all things changed but i still made it work and that's a whole another separate video in itself it's and i know i was doing the right thing in college for staying home while going to college because i had my own dentist ask me saying how is it with you staying home and um compared to being on campus and i said i had everything i needed the necessities home food home shelter laundry i had everything that i needed and all i had to do was concentrate on my studies and i had a good support system and he was like oh okay because i'm pretty sure he had a kid that was on on the brinks of graduating high school um so i'm pretty sure he had that in mind like okay let me ask one of my patients that's actually in school and see how it goes and i guarantee that is the best decision that i'm sticking to it forever and ever is staying at home and i I, as much as i know you i know young people y'all want your freedom and all that and all things of the things but when it comes to the necessities for us food home shelter and laundry you can never go wrong when it's already there for you and the school is right down the street okay so that's my little two cents on that the second reason why college community colleges is better than four year is community colleges can have more flexible schedules it says do you need to go to school at night or on weekends if so community colleges which can tend to offer more of these class times might be a good fit this is especially beneficial beneficial for students who have already entered the working world or who have planned to work during college or you can be a non-traditional student such as parents who are returning to school as well as part-time students if you need to take a lighter course load to accommodate other parts of your life and therefore take a few extra semesters to finish a less expensive school may make sense so yes make it make sense if you are a student who are is or going to go into the working world but still want to go in school uh go to college 
of course uh community colleges is the way to go they uh, have ways to work around your schedule even when this class is filled up please make sure that you can guarantee your counselor that you need to be in that class because they do have the ability to override you in that class they do have the ability if you are a person that don't hardly drop out of classes and can guarantee them like i will i need this class i desperately need this class they have the ability to override you in there even though um at this time they uh advise you to do it on your own if it's really a necessity they have the ability to do that all they all they need is your permission okay all right so number three is on what the reason why choosing a community college is better than a four-year university is not every student is ready for a four-year college as i explained before the first two years are your make it and break it years and high in your college career your freshman and sophomore year is your make it or break it year why because that's going to determine how you're going to proceed on with your college career it says within the article some people graduate high school knowing exactly what career path they want to follow and some of those jobs only require associate's degree or certificate in that case community college is a perfect fit other students aren't quite sure what they want to study and a less expensive option gives them the opportunity to explore additionally some people may find a community college to be a more supportive environment which meaning classes tend to be smaller the culture can be less competitive and for students who need a little time to develop academic skills can be it can be a smart choice so again um, if you're not a, a school type of person but still want to get some of those skills and assets onto your resume underneath your belt community college is the way to go all right the classes are smaller the culture the culture is less competitive the teacher ratio is uh is fine you're able to communicate with your teacher and they can be flexible with you as long as you communicate communicate with them on you know if you need a little bit more time on work and so forth and so on okay so definitely if you're not a a four-year type of person but still want to be able to have something un underneath your belt community college is the way to go whether it's a associate's degree or just a certificate if you are going undeclared just do general studies okay just to get your feet wet and see what classes spark uh, give you that spark on what will fulfill your purpose so i will encourage um students that are just not sure on what career path they want to go to right now is either do general studies some form of general studies as well as liberal arts okay um and number four the final one is says community colleges can prepare you for your career okay and it says one major reason to go to college is prepare you to find a job in your chosen field or start your own business i just added that in there starting your own business and uh, also you may be interested in a career that can train you for a two-year college and starting at a community college can help you get into a better four-year school then if you done that straight out of college, I said that, and I, this is my first time reading this article, y'all. I said it. Once you complete your two-year degree at a two-year college with a associate's degree or some form of certifications, it is it is guaranteed that you're able to get in there quicker than a person from high school because you've already have. The, you've already invested yourself in the college career um, as of right then and there compared to a high school student that's graduating straight out of high school going to a four-year university is like give and take you know it's gambling 50 50 like okay is this student going to perform or are they not going to perform so yes please it prepares you for your career it shows you how committed and dedicated you are to you know get in some form 
of paperwork, some form of degree, whether it's associate's or bachelor's degree. All right. And to conclude this, uh, th- to conclude this article, it says making a decision. It reads community college isn't the right choice for everyone, but for many students, it's something to at least consider. When deciding between two-year and four-year schools, think about your financial constraints, the learning environment that you're looking for, and what you want to get out of college experience and the career path you hope to pursue. That's definitely every, all those avenues that you need to consider. Your financial issue, uh, your learning environment. How do you learn? How do you process information? Are you a person that will ask a lot of questions or are you a person that just sit in the back and soak up the, the lesson and then ask questions later if you need to? Or are you the type of person that wants to just that whole college experience with fraternities, sororities, organizations, social, being a, that social butterfly and all the things other things? You can do the same at the community college. And when it comes to... Um, sororities and fraternities uh you can join in your graduate years however i I believe with majority if not all of the sororities and fraternities uh it requires a minimum of a bachelor's degree so yeah go figure (laughs) so if you are still teeter tottering making the decision on going to a two-year four-year college i'm here to tell you as your advisor i'm gonna just say i'm going ahead and say it in the unit put it out there in the universe i'm going to be your advisor in regards to the college life because i've been there for six years five and a half to six years due to the fact of the major i was in okay uh, uh <laughs> and what because it does depend it depends of the major that you're in as far as like the minimum and the max years of college if you're like in a in a major like teaching and arts and a couple of other majors that i can't name off of the top of my head right now that will end at four at at the minimum four years but if it's like hard majors like engineering law doctors lawyer i already said law for lawyers but definitely within the medical realm the law realm the industry realm to be specific the engineering with industrial engineering chemical uh, construction oil gas all those industries yes that will be four years minimum but i'm gonna say Yeah, it's going to take six years max for the uh, the harder fields within the medical, the engineering, the laws, and the doctors. The doctors, it can go as long as eight years. And definitely with law as well. So, yes, definitely please keep that in mind whenever you are choosing your school and your major. Because they, uh, with college students, yes, they tend to change majors at least three three to four times within their college career because they you begin to have your spark by the time you're close to finishing and that's why i encourage people to go the general studies route that way whenever you have to make the decision on choosing the major you can weigh out your options and see which one that you really love the most and proceed forward so you can graduate in the end so yeah that's (laughs) definitely all all the things are the things when it comes to uh college and yes there'll be more videos and more episodes to come along the way when it comes to my experiences in college and how it I can be, you know, a, a helping vessel for the collective and maneuvering the, the ways in college, okay? Especially these times, all right? Now, 
Now, before I conclude this episode, I'm going to leave you all with this saying. This is an intuition card that I pulled for you guys today from my intuitive life coaching oracle deck. And it reads, you are learning to embrace and trust your inner inner knowing. And it reads, intuition can take on many different forms. And intuition is a natural ability. There is nothing woo-woo about it. Many of us have been conditioned to tune out our intuitive abilities so we can blend in with our environment. This card is showing us that one of our greatest strengths is our intuition. Our ability to know the truth about a specific situation or a circumstance. When we know something and can't explain how, trust that it is our inner voice revealing the truth to us. When we learn to live life from an intuitive perspective of our decisions and choices change. We are guided to do things that are for our highest good and we immediately know who to trust and who not to trust. The more you listen to and act on your intuition, the louder and more familiar it gets. What your intuition is trying to tell you, you can ask yourself, what do I need to know today? Listen gently and pay attention to how you feel. We all get intuitive messages. Sometimes they show up as a feeling and other times annoying. However, these messages arrive you can often just act without overthinking when you begin to honor and know these intuitive abilities you be uh, you get better at using them so trust your intuition and it will not leave you astray okay and that's it that's definitely going to come in handy whenever you're in college when you get those nudges of what what you need to do and what you shouldn't do you get that feeling, you get that gut feeling, or you get that knowing that something ain't right, please check on on it or please act up on it because that could that's a message from the universe that is telling you that you either need to follow through with it or you either need to back up off of whatever situation or circumstance you're, you're in, okay? So as a life coach, Uh, as a life coaching question that you can ask among yourself during your leisure you can ask what intuitive messages have you received this week and how did they arrive to you as well as how do you sometimes dismiss your intuition as coincidence and can you think of a time when you receive an intuitive message but did not trust it so what is asking us as a collective today as well as for now on into the future is if you're getting those nudges if you're getting those concerns if you're getting um a feeling or knowing that something's not right or it's just right or it's too good to be true just quiet your mind and see what answer comes to you and when it does act upon it because whenever you don't act upon it um, it could also cause some type of distress along the way. It may not happen immediately, but it's going to happen along the way. So even though you feel like you're down, you know, you're down and out because you're not going to the college of your dreams, just know there is a door open on the horizon that is just waiting for you to walk through with, of course, you're going to be nervous about it. You're not going to know what's going to happen at that opening door. But just know to trust yourself. Have faith in yourself that everything happens in the divine timing and falls in place in within divine timing. Because the things that I have endured in college from start to finish, I had to really just have faith in whatever Uh, circumstances and situations and challenges that came ahead for me yes I was on the verge of academic probation because of the fact that I was getting D's and it's okay y'all if y'all are used to getting straight A's and B's in high school and you end up getting C's and D's and F's 
it's okay just know that you just need to spend a little bit more time on the on the subject and also make some necessary adjustments weed out the, uh, the things that are not serving your highest good at that moment so you can get that task done so you can ace that test so you can pass the test with a decent grade okay i think that is all that i have for you guys today i would like to uh, i'm sorry that you had to hear that noise that was paper <laughs> i was trying to grab a paper y'all but uh with that being said that concludes today's episode i hope you all enjoyed it and for the time being and yes there'll be more college stories to come uh, whether it's on the episode or on my YouTube channel, that is Melinda J on YouTube. It's just Melinda J, but uh, yes, I'm definitely on YouTube. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to there. I give good content. Um, yes, it takes time for me to upload, rightfully so, because not only I'm working, but the topics that I present to y'all, I like to come with facts and viable information that could also be um, a life experience that I've already endured and I'm just spreading the message along with you all especially when it comes to this college information I'm definitely an advocate in that realm Uh, definitely within the educational realm as well as uh, feminine health okay and definitely in regards to, to to preserving your energy while having your baby that's a whole nother video but anyways um to conclude this episode i like to thank you all for listening giving you y'all active listening ears i really appreciate you all to tuning in to the miss unconventional podcast please stay tuned for the leave it on a good note segment that's the thing that i do with my podcast i have a self-care segment in the beginning and then leave it on a good note segment at the end that way we can all feel good in the end and gives us something to ponder about during our leisure uh it's a, definitely a little expert in, inspiration to raise that vibration of anyone that's going through any circumstance right now especially when it's mental he- health awareness month we got to get in tune with our mental health and address it accordingly and establish those healthy boundaries not only within ourselves but also with our loved ones and others as well okay special thanks to uh discover.com for this good old content this good old article on why community colleges uh is a better choice over a four-year university all right and until next time always remember to love thyself know thyself soothe thyself so you can heal thyself and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye guys On today's episode on Leave It On A Good Note, we have Crossing Into The Light. And it says, Today I face a new bridge that I must cross on my journey to inner transformation. Today, like every day, I will practice the laws of universal love. Thus, I will deal with the current situation in a positive way so that I continue to grow and evolve. As I cross this bridge on my way towards the light, I am reminded of the true meaning of life. Okay, so that concludes this segment on leaving on a good note. I thank you all for tuning in today's episode. And until next time, always remember to love thyself, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself. Bye, you guys. <laughs>